Welcome to week 17 of the NFL regular season where the 12-3 New York Jets are taking on the 5-10 Miami Dolphins. This game is pretty much pointless for the Jets as they have already secured the fifth seed. They can't go any lower and they can't go any higher. So the starters are probably not going to play too much today. Just play at the beginning of the game for a little bit and then probably sit. But they are just trying to get to 13 wins, which no one expected this season. And let's get this game started. Geno Smith under center on first and 10. Takes the snap. Smith drops back, and he is sacked on the play by Ellerby for a loss of 10. Not a good start for the Jets. Geno Smith now under center on third and 17. Niall Davis in the backfield. Smith takes the snap. He moves out to his left side, and he's hit as he throws incomplete. That was actually the first pass he was able to get off today, and it did not work. So now second and 10. Tannehill takes the snap over the middle and just overthrew his receiver by about five yards. And now Ryan Tannehill on third and 10 in shotgun. He takes the snap. Tannehill steps up in the pocket. He breaks away from one sack, and he could run, but he's going to throw anyway and then misses his target. Three throws, three incompletions on that drive. Now second and eight. Geno Smith under center. Play action to Niall Davis. Smith going deep downfield. He's got a man open. That's Percy Harvin at the 50, and nobody's going to catch him. Percy Harvin, a 98-yard touchdown pass by the New York Jets. Percy Harvin had a long touchdown last week and just got one here. And now they're up 7-0. Ryan Tannehill comes out. He drops back from under center. He dances around, and he is sacked on the play by Kyle Wilson down at the 10-yard line to bring up third and 22. Lamar Miller in the backfield, but Tannehill is going to drop back and is sacked on the play that time by Muhammad Wilkerson to bring up fourth and 27, and they punt the ball to the Jets. Second and 10, handoff to Davis. Now Davis to the outside. He's trying to power through some tackles, and he's got the first down. Davis, three carries for 15 yards. And Niall Davis is actually fairly close to the record for most rushing yards in a single season. And now Geno Smith throws to the outside, and that's caught by Jeremy Curley inside the 20, and he is brought down at about the 15-yard line. Smith, two of four for 122 yards. That's a ridiculous stat. And now Smith throws in the back corner of the end zone and caught by Jason Morrow. Touchdown, Jets, and they go up 14 to nothing over the Dolphins. Now on first and 10, Tannehill under center, pitches back to Lamar Miller. Miller tries to get to the outside. He's got the first down, and he is brought down after a 16-yard gain. That's already over half of the amount of rushing yards he got last time the Dolphins and Jets played. Now Tannehill in shotgun takes the snap. He throws to the outside. That's caught by Landry. He's got the first down into Jets territory and brought down by Quentin Copels on the play. That is Ryan Tannehill's first completion, and it was a screen pass. Now second and six. Tannehill takes the snap from shotgun. Dents around over the middle, caught by Hartline, and he is down inside the 10-yard line. There's his second completion, 2 of 5 for 51 yards. Now second to goal, Tannehill under center. He's got Daniel Thomas in the backfield. They give it to Thomas to the outside. Touchdown, Dolphins, and they are now only down 14 to 7. So now Geno Smith comes back out on third and 13. He takes the snap. Smith drops back, throws to the outside. It's caught by T.J. Graham, and Graham is forced out one yard shy of the first down. So that will bring up fourth and one, and they punt the ball to the Dolphins. And now a handoff to Lamar Miller up the middle, and he will be brought down after a decent gain. He's already got seven carries for 41 yards. A much better game than he had last time. First and 10, pitches out to Miller. Miller trying to get to the edge again, and he's got the first down. He's just too fast for our defensive lineman to keep up, as now he has eight carries for 53 yards, averaging six yards a carry. Now second and four, Tannehill takes the snap from shotgun, throws to the outside, caught by Mike Wallace, and he is leveled by Demario Davis, and that is Tannehill's third completion, three of six for 60 yards. Now in shotgun on second and four. Hand off to Thomas again. He stiff arms and then he is brought down, but he gets another first down for the Dolphins. Thomas has two carries for 11 yards and a touchdown. Now Tannehill in shotgun. Play action to Thomas. Throws to the outside, caught by Hartline as he runs across the middle of the field, and he is brought down by Demario Davis. So now from the three, they were able to hold him to a fourth and one. And the kick is away, and it is good. So now the Jets are only up by four points, 14 to 10 in the middle of the second quarter. And now Geno Smith still in the game on third and eight. Smith takes the snap. Geno Smith hit as he throws, throws to the outside, caught by Harvin. And Percy Harvin is brought down at the 45-yard line. Geno Smith, five of eight for 161 yards. Now third and one. Chris Ivory's in the backfield, and he's going to be blocking on this play. Smith rolls out to his right side and throws downfield, and that pass is tipped away. So that will bring up another fourth down for the Jets, and they punt the ball away. Now on third and eight, Tannehill takes the snap, and he is sacked on the play by Demario Davis, getting his fourth tackle today, and they punt the ball away to the Jets. 
Now Geno Smith under center. Niall Davis in the backfield getting close to that rushing record. Hand off to Davis up the middle. He breaks one tackle. Davis still going. He shakes off another one at the 20, and he is forced out of bounds at about the 8-yard line. And with that run, he would break the record for most rushing yards in a single season. Geno Smith still in the game. First and goal at the 8-yard line. Smith rolls out to the right side. Geno Smith going to throw to the end zone. Caught by T.J. Graham. Touchdown, Jets, as they are now up 21-10 over the Dolphins. Now Tannehill in shotgun. Two minutes to go in the half. Tannehill takes the snap, and he could run, but he's going to throw to the outside and throws it right to Dean Milliner. And Milliner breaks the tackle and is brought down at about the 45-yard line. And I wonder if the starters will still be in the game here. Yes, they are. Geno Smith in shotgun. He takes the snap. Smith throws to the outside. That's caught by Davis. He got the first down, and he is brought down at about the 30-yard line. And that will give the Jets a new set of downs. So now Geno Smith in shotgun on third and one, takes the snap. Smith throws to the outside, and that pass is actually dropped by Jeremy Curley. And that will bring out Nick Folk to try to make a field goal and put the Jets up by 14 points. So the snap, the hold, the kick is on the way, and it is good. So that makes it 24-10 Jets over the Dolphins. And that would take us to halftime. The Jets are up 24-10 at the end of the first half, playing some pretty solid football. But I don't think the starters will be coming back out to start the second half, at least not on offense. We'll see how it goes. As we start the second half, we notice that some of the Jets' backup defenders are in, but players like rookie Calvin Pryor, who still need a little bit more experience, are still in the game. So now Ryan Tannehill in shotgun on second and eight, and he will run to the outside, and he's going to be met by John Boyer, the backup strong safety, and he is brought down on the play by Darren Walls. So now third and eight. Tannehill takes the snap. He drops back from under center, throws the outside, and he's got a man open, and that's a first down to Brian Hartline. Five of nine for 81 yards. Now Tannehill in shotgun on second and 10. And it's a read option. He's going to keep it himself. He's got the first down, and he is brought down at about the 36-yard line. Two carries for 21 yards. And now he sends Landry in motion. Tannehill takes a snap and throws downfield. Caught by Landry, and he is brought down by Darren Walls. Six of 11 for 90 yards for Ryan Tannehill. They're now moving the ball pretty efficiently against most of the backups. Now Tannehill takes a snap, throws to the outside. It's a slant route to Hartline, and he is brought down by three defenders. Tannehill, 7 of 12 for 103 yards. First and goal, Ryan Tannehill takes a snap, throws to the outside, caught by Daniel Thomas, into the end zone, touchdown Dolphins, and they have cut the lead to only 7. So now out comes the Jets offense, led by Michael Vick. And Vick takes the snap, this is his first snap all season, throws over the middle, caught by Hester, and that will be a 5-yard gain. And Vick completes his first pass of the year. Now Vick in shotgun, he's got Andrew Hale in the backfield. They're going to give it to Hale. Hale to the outside, he stiff arms one man, he's got the first down, down at the 36-yard line. About a 10-yard gain on that play. Vick is in shotgun once again, this time on second and 13. Michael Vick handoff to Hale to the outside. Andrew Hale's trying to get to the edge, he broke one tackle, and he has the first down, forced out of bounds at about the 46-yard line. They will actually rule in third and inches, not a first down. So on third and inches, it's a play-action fake to Hale, and he is sacked on the play, so that will bring up a fourth down and they will punt the ball to Miami. Let's see if these backup defenders can make a play. Tannehill in shotgun, takes the snap, and he's going to roll out to his right side. He may be looking to try to run, and he'll have the first down for getting tripped up on the play by Demario Davis, who for some reason is still in the game. Second and five, Tannehill takes the snap to the outside, caught by Charles Clay, and he is brought down to the play, but he fumbled, picked up by Landry, and he just was able to advance the ball a few more yards. Tannehill under center. He's got Lamar Miller in the backfield. He throws downfield, caught by Clay, and he's got the first down once again as we are now in the fourth quarter. So first and ten. Ryan Tannehill in shotgun again. He takes the snap. Tannehill throws to the outside. It's caught by Mike Wallace, and he's got the first down for being dropped to the ground. A gain of 13 on the play and a first down for the Dolphins. So now Tannehill in shotgun on third and 11. Tannehill takes the snap, throws over the middle, caught by Hartline, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. And they have led the 14-point comeback, and they are now tied at 24. So Vic comes out with 11 minutes to go in the game. Hand off to Hale. Andrew Hale to the outside. He jukes. He juked out four defenders on that one move, and now Hale's off to the races, and nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown, Jets, and they will regain their lead on the first play of the drive. That is the reason we brought in Hale, was because he had a lot of speed. Now Tannehill in, shotgun from the 34-yard line on second and 10. He's dancing around the pocket. Doesn't know where he wants to go with it. He throws on the run and goes downfield. It's intercepted by John Boyer. 
and Boye now trying to make a play, trying to show me why he should stay on this team because he has not done a lot this season, but right there he definitely made up for some of it. And now Vic under center. Niall Davis for some reason is in the backfield. Vic takes the snap, rolls up to the right side, and Vic's going to run, showing he still has speed at his old age. And now on third and nine, Michael Vic takes the snap. Vic under pressure, throws to the outside. It's a screen to Niall Davis. Why are you still in the game? 10-5. Touchdown Jets and they go up 38 to 24. I have no idea why Niall Davis was still playing in the game at this point. And now six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Tannehill takes the snap, throws to the outside, caught by Hartline, and he has the first down, forced out of bounds by Boye. Tannehill 17 of 24 for 193 yards. Ryan Tannehill takes the snap, he throws downfield, and it's a screen pass. And he is able to juke out a few defenders and brought down just shy of the marker. That was about an 11 or 12 yard gain. That was set up fourth and three. And now on fourth and three, Tannehill takes the snap. Tannehill maybe looking to go deep downfield, and he is sacked on the play. So that will turn the ball over to the Jets. And now here comes Vic in shotgun. Four minutes to go in the game. Vic handoff to Hale. Andrew Hale to the outside, trying to use his speed. Stiff arms, and now Hale's off to the races, and he's going to be brought down inside the 15-yard line, down at the 13. Seven carries for 137 yards today. He's doing pretty good. Now third and seven, Vic in shotgun, play action, and he is sacked on the play, so that will lead to a field goal attempt to put the Jets up by 17 points, and it is now a three-possession game. I don't even know if Tom Brady or Peyton Manning could pull off this win at this point. Third and three, Tannehill takes the snap, throws downfield, caught by Miller, and he is brought down after a gain of eight. Now third and ten, Tannehill in shotgun, a minute 20 to go in the game. Sits in the pocket under pressure, and he just throws that pass into the dirt. So that will bring up fourth down for the Dolphins. If they don't get it here, it will officially be game over. He goes downfield, and that pass is intercepted by Darren Walls. The only other quarterback that he's been able to pick off this season was Peyton Manning. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up the regular season for the New York Jets. They finish 13-3. So this regular season has been a lot of fun. Um, we did make the wild card round, obviously. We secured a playoff spot, I think, after we won in week 15. So, yeah, that, that makes sense. That's about the right time frame. Um, the backups actually played really well. The reason I decided to put in the backups was because a lot of them aren't going to see much more time before I get to the offseason. And I want to see how some of them had improved on the season. Like, Boye, at the beginning of the season, couldn't have caught anything. There was one play I think Brady threw it right into his chest, and he just stared it down as it bounced off, and he was able to make that play. So maybe he's earned another year on his contract because he was only on a one-year contract, I believe. And I believe Andrew Hale has earned an opportunity to come back next season and compete for the backup running back job. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Our first game in the playoffs is against the Denver Broncos, who we played earlier in the season and won, I believe, by 14 because it was a seven-point game. And then Peyton Manning threw a pick six to Darren Walls. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And right here, what I'm doing is I'm looking for a, a play where I can get the thumbnail from. But anyway, hopefully you guys are excited for the playoffs to start. And I will talk to you guys next episode.